From Lagos to Abuja, Benin, Delta, Ogun State, across the country, the voice of Nigerian youths demanding prescription of the special anti-robbery squad is resounding. Stop the senseless killing. Stop the senseless killing and SARS. We want peace and we want justice. We should be protected. We are the people. The movement has gathered momentum beyond Nigeria with the hashtag NSAS trending in the United States, the United Kingdom, South Africa, and Canada. The excesses of some members of the unit of the Nigerian police force have unarguably frustrated Nigerians. SARS, as they are popularly called, is one of the units under the Nigerian Police Force Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department. Formed in 1992 by a former Commissioner of Police, Simon Danla de Midenda, to address the wave of crime in Lagos State, its operations include investigation, arrest, and prosecution of suspected armed robbers, murderers, kidnappers, hired assassins, and other violent related crimes. One unique feature of this unit at the time was its mode of operation. Operatives operated in plain clothes, used regular vehicles, and were barred from carrying walkie-talkie and guns openly. They worked tirelessly to ensure robbers were apprehended. The unit was later extended to other states' police commands. However, following nationwide reports and complaints, members of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad are seen to have deviated from the original concept and has since become a menace to the society. With highly emotional, loud voices, Nigerians are saying, enough is enough. Do Nigerian youths want a holistic police reform or just an end to SARS? And SARS now, that's what we're fighting for. Okay, police brutality is too much. We want a reform. A reform is needed. But a reform is not what we're clamoring for right now. We want an end to SARS. Then whatever reform you have to do to the police department, do it. The reasons are very clear and simple. Reforms have, have been done severely by the police uh, in Nigeria. And all these reforms have totally failed. It has not... It has not changed the, the mode of operations, it has not changed the, the, the level of harassment, it has not changed the, the, the extremities in, in, the brutality, uh, in the cases of brutality that we've experienced. And this is where we're requesting a total annihilation, a total cancellation, a total scrapping, an end to the Special anti robbery Squad Unit of the Nigeria Police Force. All parameters considered, which is more of a worthy request, answers or reformation? The only thing worthy to Nigerians right now, especially to the youth right now, is to end SARS. If the call to eradicate SARS is achieved, how do we tackle armed robbery and kidnapping for which SARS was created? It's very simple and straightforward. The police needs to start engaging with intelligence. There's a lot of intelligence that needs to be, to be put in play to, to combat kidnapping, to combat um, uh, armed robbery, as the case may be. Amazing how we remember now that SARS was created for armed robbery and criminal cases. I mean, there have been cases where they've been called for, for situations like that. The one million boys at the time, none of them showed up like they never did. We would expect that they, they do something else about it. Create another group and give them their job description. Make it clear to them. But this SAS is not doing what SAS is meant for. So end it. If you have to create another group, create another one. If they don't do right again, we'll ask for an end to it too. While the debate on scrapping or reforming of the squad continues, the point of agreement is that the goal is the protection of lives and properties and not harassment. Elsie Godwin for PLUS TV Africa.